This is Adam Ledyard with the ETVU Sports Network here with head football coach Joshua Ergel. Coach, you're coming off a, a great win at Ornella Stadium, first one of the year for ETVU and at Ornellas. Talk about this win over Austin College, how well your defense did. They had a, a game-changing safety there that gave you guys the lead for good. Offense did a phenomenal job putting points on the board. Just tell us uh, how this game went for you guys. Yeah, Adam, it's always great to uh, open the home uh, schedule up with a win, and so that, that was the most important thing. Hey, Tigers won on Saturday night, so we are excited about that. Uh, special teams were better than were week one. I was really, really proud of um, the way we're getting better and we're, we're taking coaching and, and uh, really just trying to take that level of the game up a notch. Um, defensively, uh, we've got some things we still got to work on. We've got to be able to get off the field on third downs and fourth downs, but man, we're talking about turning the game around when you, when you, you know, special teams again pins them down there deep. And uh, David James made a phenomenal play in the end zone and uh, gets that safety. And really, I really feel like that spark really turned the game. That was the momentum. You know, coaches talk all the time about one or two plays uh, changing the game. That, that play defensively changed the game for the Tigers and really gave us the momentum we need. And the offense, I mean, uh, they only had the ball 20 minutes. I mean, 20 minutes out of 60 minutes, they had very few time. 616 yards. I mean, that's, that's, that's crazy. Uh, Josh Warburton had a phenomenal night. Um, we're still using our running backs by committee. It was great to see Toy Glover back out there for the Tigers. Did a great job averaging eight yards a carry. So just overall, it was a good night for the Tigers. Now you have uh, Players of the Week yourself for ETBU. Talk about your team Players of the Week and who they are and, and what they did this week. Yeah, just with coaches going behind the scenes and knowing what we ask those kids to do each week, certain kids um, – are, are um, asked to do things that may not get those stats. But but this week, it, it was pretty obvious for us, David James had a monster night for us. I mean, the safety, but he also had um, two batted, uh, batted down passes, which is the best pass defense you can get. Uh, he sacked a quarterback, but also got a sack, a forced fumble, and a fumble recovery all in one play. I mean, just had a phenomenal night. Uh, he was our defensive player of the week. Josh Warburton threw for 400 yards, had another night for that, another big night for him as our starting quarterback. He's really kind of coming into his own. Uh, I like the way he started this season out for us, leading our football team offensively um, with some touchdowns. And, and just what just one hiccup, the only turnover we had uh, Saturday night was one interception late in the half, uh, trying to force a ball. But other than that, had a phenomenal night for us. And then special teams, our special teams player of the week was Dylan Bowman, unsung hero, uh, made all the tackles, saved us on one of our kickoff units uh, just by boxing everything in and not allowing the return to get outside. And then we had a big punt that where, where David James had that safety Dylan Bowman was the one who sprinted down there and batted the ball back in bounds to be downed inside the five-yard line. So just a phenomenal night, offensive, defense, and special teams. But, but Adam, we, we also have uh, scout team players of the week and uh, really want to give them some, um, some face time because they do a phenomenal job for us. Special teams-wise this week was Jordan Brown. Jordan Brown's a freshman from San Antonio Madison. He's going to be a phenomenal corner for us. But, but he gives us great looks off the edge with our block teams and, and, and uh, really helped us in special teams this week. Uh, defensively, Tristan Moore from Brownsboro, Texas, right here in East Texas, did a great job at linebacker getting our offense ready to go. And then defense, uh, excuse me, offensively, uh, Joel Batista from Mount Pleasant, Texas, just right off the road, uh, did a great job. Uh, we worked two huddles against our defense every every practice, and he was working both huddles at, at the guard spot, just really grinding this week. So really want to praise those three scout teams of players of the week also. We found out late Sunday that Josh Warmington and Wayne Grice were ASC players of the week. Warmington offensively, Grice – on special teams, you already talked a little bit about that and how they, how they did. Just kind of tell us a little bit how, how, that, how big of a, a, an award that is to get from the conference for the team. Yeah, I, mean, I say it all the time, almost every time I'm interviewed, American Southwest Conference is the best Division Three football playing conference in the country. It's not even close. And uh, when you look at uh, the three individuals that are they're nominated, not only nominated but, but elected each week and recognized by American Southwest Conference, um, those guys are the elite players in the conference. And so what a great honor for Josh Warburton to be recognized offensively. Wayne Grice in our return game uh, did a great job of, of really setting our offense up all night, had averaged really, really well, and got one across the 50 with a 53-yard kickoff return. Uh, just did some special things and be recognized by the conference again. That's just what a, what a phenomenal honor for those two individuals. This week you got Southwestern coming to town. They got their first program win since 1950 over the weekend against Sol Ross. How do you prepare for them coming to town? They're going to have some momentum with their first win. Coming to Ornellis, you've got to, you guys have a win here. You've got the ETBU Den, the atmosphere, and the Tiger Alley going. They're coming into a, a big ETBU roar. How, how do you prepare for Southwestern? Yeah, I can't express uh, how exciting that game was this past Saturday. 
I mean, if anybody didn't get to experience that, you've got to come out and see our game day experience. I mean, it's just phenomenal the way it's taken off this year. Uh, if it's anything like it was last week, I got a feeling it's going to be a little bit better. You got the student body down the north end zone and the bands right there next to them with the spear squads. And it's just, I mean, it's a phenomenal atmosphere with students and, and faculty and parents. Um, just what a great game day atmosphere. And then you welcome in Southwestern, you know, right off a big win for them, a huge historic win for them. Uh, it's going to be another tough opponent, Ornelas. But, man, if, if we can have the crowd we had this past week, it's going to be a great night for the Tigers just to celebrate everything good about ETBU again. And uh, I, I just love the fact that that can happen in a football stadium and people from all walks of life can come down there and just have a great time wearing, wearing the blue and gold. All right, we're talking to head football coach Josh Wergel here on the ETBU Sportsnet. I'm Adam P. Ledyard.